Some interesting developments in how autoimmune disease could be treated. Could be, yeah. Coming right out of the University of Calgary. I know, another exciting development out of the University of Calgary. So this is interesting. So doctors are now really understanding um, autoimmune diseases, and if they understand it, then of course they can treat it. So this is kind of exciting. So we're talking about immune diseases like type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, diseases like that. So scientists have discovered a new class of medicine. So they've done the research on mice, and basically what this does is it stops the immune system from turning on itself, because that's what happens with these autoimmune diseases. They don't really understand why, but all of a sudden the immune system starts attacking itself. So what they figured out, and this is nanomedicine, so this stuff is really cool. So this is about exploiting these tiny particles that are thousands of times smaller than even a typical cell. So really, really tiny. Now it's a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to break it down for you. So what they do is they found that if they put proteins on these nanoparticles, they basically act like bait. So when you've got these rogue white cells that are trying to attack the the immune system, what they do instead is attack these other ones that have the bait on them, mm -hmm. and then that prevents the disease from occurring in the first place. So really, they're exploiting a naturally occurring process that's never really been understood before. So here's what this means. They're able to harness the power of the immune system in a really specific way so they don't have to, um, to suppress the entire immune system. So that's what the current drugs do. They suppress the entire immune system, but when you suppress the entire immune system, of course, that leaves patients vulnerable to all kinds of illnesses, from simple colds and flus to bacteria and other bigger illnesses, right. right? So this is more targeted, personalized medicine. So the implications of this could be huge. It's one drug design to treat many different diseases, right? It's not one type of drug for this disease, another type of drug for this other disease. It's the same drug design, the same components assembled with some little changes to treat a whole spectrum of diseases that, that today they cannot be treated. So if we're successful in clinical trials, you can imagine what the significance of that would be. Yeah, it would be absolutely huge. So let's put this into context. Autoimmune diseases, how many? 80 of them right now affect wow. the human species. So this could have huge implications. Uh, and of course, this could lead to new, more specific kinds of treatments for all kinds of these autoimmune diseases. So right now, this research, this mechanism of action, as they call it in medicine land, they are looking into this now for treatments for specific medications in humans. So they have to create the drugs, and then they're going to test them in humans. So we're a bit of a ways down the road in terms of having medications for these diseases, but it's certainly on the horizon, and it's very exciting. Mm. Yeah. Exciting work at the U of C. Yes, they are. All kinds of good stuff going on there. So this is just another example of that. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Leah. Yeah.